Hey, here I am. I'm gonna be doing a quick, quick reaction here. I guess this is a short album. This Fishmonger project from Underscores, just a little bit over half hour. And I'm kind of excited to listen to this. Um, I know this is more like specifically in that hyper pop scene, but my first introduction to Underscores was with the Wall Socket album, and I was completely, completely blown away. And I know that this album has enough of a, you know, a fan base behind it, and I have a feeling I'm gonna quite like this. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Okay, so first song on it, that's all right. It doesn't doesn't blow me away or anything. I do think that like guitar part on it is, you know, not taking me as far as I would want it to. Um, but lyrically, what I'm getting from this is very reminiscent of Wall Socket and how it's like thematically kind of silly, but it's also serious at the same time. There's almost like a satirical edge uh, to what she's trying to do here. But um, I, again, I'm just reading the genius thing below. It's like talking about like the end of days or post-apocalyptic, but then trying to attach it to someone's mental health issues. Like, um, okay. So they're trying to make something themselves before the world comes to end. I guess you never see it coming when it's coming out of left field. He's a pretty solid guy, but it said his humor's kind of dark, worse than the best, and I hope he keeps his bit of the eyes peeled. She had a shitty day, and now we've only made it worse for her. The sky's orange and there's fucking ashes on her windfield, and then the water dried up. So things are bad. Her parents sent their kids to some asylum out in Malibu. I guess she can't have nicotine for breakfast like she used to. Okay, so this person was really going through it. The internet has ruined our lives despite the fact that it's saving kids just like myself from being lonely in high school. So, right, S seeing yourself um, like some contradiction where the internet's not particularly good for you that you have to find that as a, as a, a place for friendship or, you know, for some social life, but um, that's just the way it goes. I guess he thought he only cried at funerals, but this time no one's dying. It just seems like everyone around him wants to. Okay, so then this post-apocalyptic nature with also this post-apocalyptic, uh, you know, generation, as she's saying, right? Where, you know, society in her eyes is something that's, you know, focused on the internet or, you know, everyone just seems to be fucking having some existential crisis. <laughs> Before we get to the next song, I, I guess what I kind of got from this was like this song is sort of about, I don't know, secondhand embarrassment from someone saying something dumb or making stupid decisions. Like, um, you know, that's what they're saying. Don't talk if you're going to say much. You could have said, could have had something you don't like the taste of. Don't talk if you want to make it worth it, right? Like, someone is saying some really ignorant stuff, I guess, is just what I'm gathering from this. And, you, you know, you're in a position near this person. Interesting. Okay, uh, that's just kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, 
Bozo, bozo, you're an idiot Bozo, 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 better speak up Take a corner when the fuck I didn't see ya Why are you so sad? Only if you say so I told him everything was so I didn't mean to If it's all the stuff, it's Bozo, 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 you're an idiot Would you just indulge me for a little bit? Why are you so sad? Nothing's gonna change over sharing Look at what you started I wanna be like This is all the subjects of my life Okay, I think Bozo Bozo, I think I was the one, I was having the most fun with that one out of all of them, uh, you know, liking both uh, singing elements on this as well. Um, weird song, weird song. I guess this one kind of reminds me of the last song too. We were already talking about someone, you know, speaking when they shouldn't be, like, don't talk. And here, it's like you're talking about this person who is, who is dumb and you were trying to, like, and very much ways avoid this situation uh, with this person. All right. This little part is kind of in that uncanny long arms of Wall Okay, each song I'm doing, I, it keeps getting better, I would argue. Kinko's Field Trip 2006, first off, that melody and those lines from uh, Uncanny Long Arms, and that was used in a different purpose, I feel, in that song. But yeah, this is a very interesting song. Um, you know, you know, it's they're basically discussing the fact that they're, like, pretending, right? That, that's what that main chorus is, saying that they're full of it. Um... And then, you know, I let admiration get to my head. I want to copy my friends. And if only I knew who it is that they think I am, shed some confidence because I don't want to have to pretend. So it just seems like someone who's, again, young, finding themselves, over worrying, and having a fear of how they're perceived, and maybe, you know, people they look up to around them not liking uh, them for who they are. Um, so it's a very, you know, a feeling that I think many people uh, can understand, especially at like a young, like a high school age or something like that. Oh, for sure, right? That do that does go away, um, but it really depends on the person, I guess, too. And it stars and stars and stars and stars. <coughs> and it hurts because I haven't done you this bad since I broke your heart. Oh, my mistake. This digital like synth parts and then with this like it's, this is a very much sort of a rock album I would say. Oh, <laughs> 
Maybe a friendship, but you know, there's certainly a, a breaking up of some sorts that's happening, and you know, you feel like you did this person wrong, and you know, you're trying to make things better, but you're not making things better, you're just making them worse. Um, and you know, you're not feeling connected with the people you're hanging around with now. Um, yeah, and it's it's broken you. That's what I grabbed from that song, so okay, let's continue on. Strictly business. Strictly the picture. Hope it lasts long. Strictly business. Check the backlog. Make a living. Sing a sad song. Yeah, I look for the attention. I got a problem and it's not my fault. Why would I waste my fucking time? I'm a part of Thinking about a little something, something, and a couple of tattoos. Posting about a little something, something, even though nobody ever asks You're really throwing yourself in this position, like, you know, destroying your character to just, you know, get this idealized um, position you want with your with your uh, career, your music career. So, okay, that's it's, it works for me. Why superstar running out of mileage? Can't sleep 2 a.m. I don't really mind it. Ring, ring, pick it up. I could be a psychic. I'm I never tried it. Bright smile, think you're so clever. Sorry, I'm not going to lie. Dark side, socks, 20, 14, cliche. I'm part of Oxford. Let me be the DJ. We're so right, though. Everything that we said. And I've been eating toothpaste. Cause you give me toothpaste. And oh, this song was in a Leroy song. Okay. I never tried it Or see double dose off the same side Ring, ring, pick it up I could be a psychic This one's a lot of fun. Your favorite sidekick, 8485. I've listened to one of their projects once before and I really like them too. Straight up more hyper pop compared to anything else on this album. There is still that like rock element in there for sure. Straight up, lyrically, right? You're just trying to, you're looking for your, like you're a sidekick, right? You're looking for someone to team up with and, you know, take over the world. I'm not specifically sure if this is just about music or if this is just something about like this friendship. We are really, uh, you know, really obsessed with the energy that's being created between uh, you together with this person. This is 
Again, this sort of feels like a breakup song, in a way, this feels like a breakup song. Um, and you know, you're also having this chorus that kind of, it feels like you're lost, you don't know why things are happening, um, but you're also feeling like, uh, you know, this person in a way, kind of just like disregarded you too, and that's what's making us hurt uh, the most. But very interesting song, you know, decision to have that, you know, the vast majority of this just be this instrumental ambient sort of like outro, so. Continue on. Just outside the city, I was holding something no one's ever seen before. Fish song, there you have that one. That one I love. That one was great. Very just laid back acoustic on there, really. Um, okay, there we go. Have that. Oh, before we get to that song, fish song. So this, I guess I, ju I just read the genius thing too. This is about some fish that is like I don't know, very much so like a loner, not really connected to other people. And when they brought it to this like, you know, place and they were doing research on it, it like died because it was stress and low dissolved oxygen. That's what it's saying. Um, so let me get into the lyrics here. Like, you're this, this person, you know, you see the beauty in this thing, um, and you didn't want to give it to the scientists. And it's saying it's onto something to be going away. Like, you know, maybe to outcast yourself is like, there's a reason for it. Um, and then you gave it to the city and you just hoped that something would come out of this, um, but it didn't. And you're kind of, you know, pissed about this. Oh, damn. That's fucking weird. It's kind of a, I don't know fully what we're trying to get here, but the message of it is kind of sad. But also it's maybe suggesting that, you know, when you see something different like this, it, you don't have to perceive it through this sad lens, you know, like not being like everyone else. Uh, and that, that trying to make it be like everyone else or giving it that that attention is what, you know, kind of killed it. I, I don't fully know, but okay. It already feels like October. You said you go with the boys, I go with the girls. I don't remember much. Some colors in
love this song too. That's a great way to end the song, or end this album. Sorry, and I think Maxwell Young is you know gets a little bit of those hi hats coming in for them, and uh, uh, they have a pretty striking verse as well. What am I getting with this song lyrically? I'm not fully sure, but it you know regardless, it still seems. Uh, pretty sad. Um, it already feels like oh, October. They said you go with the boys, or go with the girls. Okay, so this person is you know misgendering you. I don't remember much. Some colors in a mirror maze. I think I figured out what it's all for. I got everything I wanted, but I wanted more. I don't know. You're again. If this has something to do with Del Mar County Fair, like if this was some sort of, um, I don't actually specifically know that, but it seems like you're doing something with people, and you know, <coughs> things are just not working out there. We have this cor this pre-course here. It's my bad, it's my bad, it's my bad. Don't lie. Pay it back, pay it back, pay it back sometime. Don't be mad, don't be mad, don't be mad when I apologize for the very next time. I don't really know what this is about, but you feel guilt about something, at least I'm saying. You wouldn't let it eat you whole. And then you have Maxwell come in. Where's this going? Love me in the rain. Well, Chris was cellophane last week. Thought I changed your face. Hurricane. I'm anxious to meet you. Last time caused a scene. I shouldn't face again. I'm cautious to be next to you. Honey, there's pressure. I'm used to losing. Okay, well, now this person, Maxwell, his, his perspective is singing um, through like the unknowing of, of what's going to come with this relationship with this person. I don't know if this is like a duet thing where this is with um, this other person. I don't know. You just want what I can't have, you just want what I can't bear. Should I have to go give up because you can't see me in your life? Okay, no, this person obviously, okay. I don't really know. I had a bad day, that's not a stranger to you. You cried last night. I don't have nothing to prove. I don't know, so there's a disconnect with this person at least. And, you know, this person, Maxwell's character is really like honing in. And you, at least, are just feeling like, you know, you don't have anything to prove with this person. And you, you feel like, uh, I don't know, just the way that you're talking about it. But at the same time, you end that, too. I wouldn't know what to do. I couldn't know what to do. I would never know what to do. So maybe, in a way, you're, like, not doing this relationship out of this fear of not actually being this person that they want. I don't know. Regardless, though, that's the end of this album. Um, and it's not as, like, experimental or going all over the place like Wall Socket, but it still is experimental. It's it's sound, it's, it's mixing, you got R&B, you got emo, you got pop punk. I don't see how, like, they understand their future outside of it. Um, they were relatively young during this time. Well, this album came out when they were, what, <sighs> like, 21, I think? But the, the lyrics, I, I don't know how long ago they started making this music, but it still seems like it's, for, yeah, they would have been... They were 20 when this album came out, but it feels like it could have been someone uh, younger for sure. Um, yeah, I love this. It's definitely the type of music that I enjoy. There's lots of moments in here, vocally, with the electronic backing that is, you know, was certainly just made for me. So, I think I'd give it an 8.5 on first go, for sure. Um, maybe it could get higher, but there's certainly, you know, songs that I like, like, more, like, four, six, seven, and nine were, like, peak for me. Uh, everything else is pretty close, barring maybe, I really need to listen to Dryland 2001 again, and, uh, track one I, I was a little mixed on, and two and three are pretty, are pretty decent, too. And five is, like, um, also one of probably my least favorites. One five at my least favorites, I'd say. Anyways, I'll come back to it, and I'll let you know how I feel. Okay, you know, it makes more sense to me as to why I liked Wall Socket so much. Um, I, I mean, Wall Socket to me, I'm still thinking is a much more expansive project on sound and on lyricism. Um, but Fishmonger is like a great entrance. You know what I, you know what I mean? Like this showed the stepping points to get where they are now. I really like this album. I think it's fucking excellent, okay? I think I give it eight and a half. I'm gonna continue on with an eight and a half. Great album, okay? Loving the mixing of genres here. Obviously, hyperpop being a main sound, but this, I would say out of any of the hyperpop uh, music I've listened to, this is one that is more centered on a rock, no, like much more of this like pop, punk, rock elements uh, that are on here, and I think it sells really well um with wall socket right that that seems like much more of a concept album or trying to lyrically you know be a, a storytelling 
album, right? This is not really a storytelling album, but it still feels like it comes from this, this alienated teenager perspective. And I mean, having some alienated perspective and in, 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 in something that it is pop punk sounding makes a lot of sense. I feel that catharsis in this. It's nice. It's a lot of fun. There's groovy moments. There's some good sad moments near the end. I'm loving hooks on this. I'm happy with this, bro. I'm I'm happy with this. Underscores is um is up there now for me for sure. I have that one other project by them to listen to. Um but I mean, even just with Wall Socket alone, but I'm happy to have more music by her. Um, but it's safe to say that I'm going to be like watching her career closely or I'm going to be like, like always wanting to, uh, um, you know, listen to it and um, probably react to it as well. If, you know, I'm still doing this whenever that is. But um, yeah, great project, great album. Uh, if you want to see me react to anything else, um, put a comment down below and thank you for watching. Peace.